Peace love to you ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the support of my channel. Andrew Ward, Timothy Bradley, Floyd Mayweather have all stepped away from the sport of boxing, never to return anymore. All of them achieved peak performance in the sport of boxing. Bradley, his reason, he realized he'd taken too much punishment. Time to hang it up before the sport starts to hang him up. Of course, Timothy Bradley will suffer some side effects from all that trauma he received in the sport of boxing. Floyd Mayweather, wear and tear on the body, broke him down, and he realizes he can't do it no more. At the age of 40, he's hung it up for good. Andre Ward. We all know he had rotator cuff injuries and he had plagued with hand injuries with his right hand for years. And Andre now seems as though the damage is a little too much to bear. And probably other injuries he has. All three of these athletes, but particularly Andre and Floyd, they prepare and go to ridiculous lengths to enter that boxing ring and be in control. The punishment they take in sparring and in training. The ridiculous amounts of training routines they do. To be the best, you've got to take punishment. Tremendous punishment on your body. Floyd had problems with his hands, his shoulders, his back. Andre Ward had problems with his arm. I wouldn't be sh surprised his back too. And other parts of his body. Timothy Bradley was not as dedicated blowing up in between fights. But Timothy Bradley had slurred speech. And definitely brain trauma has affected Timothy Bradley. And he still doesn't speak like how he used to. His wife wanted him to retire. And now he's retired from the sport, especially after seeing Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn. Other boxers are not as wise. They feel that they need to go for that lucrative win, that final hurrah. They always feel they have something to prove still. But the wise boxers hang it up and move on with life. A note to those who are listening who are boxers. No matter how lucrative the offer, as Floyd Mayweather would say, those things cannot replace your health. Life is more precious than anything money can buy. Remember that. Your health before your wealth. Timothy Bradley Jr. has made a right decision. He will have side effects from his bouts. Floyd Mayweather has made a very wise decision and I hope he stays retired and not go after the money. And Andrew Ward, I believe he's going to be retired and stay retired realizing that the injuries that plagued him before are getting worse and he will have to live with those injuries for the rest of his life no matter how much surgeries he has. These are the side effects of boxing. Even the guys at the top of the game are plagued with injuries for the rest of their lives. People don't know these things. The sacrifice to be the best. It is quite a sacrifice, which few people can go through. Big salute to Andre Ward, pound for pound number one fighter in the world at the top of the game before he leaves. And now that he's left the game, Salute to you, Andrew Ward, one of the most skilled, scientifically minded, capable, honorable people I've ever seen, and well-spoken. And he's a Christian, too. Really awesome. I want to say to Andrew Ward that I hope that whatever you go through, to approach next in life that you will get even more success than you had as a boxer.
I truly appreciate Andrew Ward and Virgil Hunter, who always looked to the higher road and the lower road. Very respectful, hell of a boxer, and carried himself with dignity. The only thing I have to say about Andrew Ward's career is what you see is what you get with Andrew Ward. He is what you see him to be. My hope was that the boxing world would really open their arms to him, applaud him. But as I said before, Jim Lampley, Larry Merchant, and Harold Lederman really didn't do that. They never praised this guy when he deserved the praise. Max Kellerman, on the other hand, saw how difficult it was to do what Andre Ward did against Sergey Kovalev. Only Max Kellerman, we hope, will continue that narrative, his awe of boxers, his love for the sport of boxing, and somewhat of his knowledge of the sport of boxing. I hope so. I hope he doesn't replace Jim Lampley as another idiotic person. I hope he's a student of the game, listening to Roy Jones Jr., listening to Andre Ward as he comments on fights, and Virgil Hunter. I hope he will allow them, the professionals, the real pros, the real experts, to speak on boxing. I believe Max Kellerman has the opportunity to undo the things that Jim Lampley and Larry Merchant did. Will he do it? Only time will tell. Max Kellerman has been on that fine line playing that political game. And he knows a thing or two about boxing, but not enough. So I hope he resorts to the wisdom and vast knowledge of Andre Ward and also of Roy John Jr. On that note, salute to you, Andre Ward. I love you a lot, brother. And I wish you nothing but the best as you're right off into the sunset at the top of the game. Especially pound for pound number one in the world. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. Write your own story, my brother. Write your own story.